and welcome back to another look and I have just caught up with former Congressman Lewis Stokes here at Borders Books and Music uh, actually while I'm waiting for the Johnny Cochran event to start so you know Congressman it is just this is just a blessing to run into you here and so um, tell me what you've been doing uh, since you've retired especially, you know, in the, in the political arena, or have you just been staying out of that area? <laughs> well, firstly, I don't mind filling in for uh, my good friend Johnny Cochran, who is running a little late this evening, and uh, but he'll be here shortly, I know. Uh, frankly, I've been having fun uh, over the last three years that I've uh, been in retirement. Uh, my wife, however, says that uh, I've got more jobs now <laughs> than I had when I was in Congress. But uh, uh, I'm doing some very interesting things. Okay. Uh, for instance, uh, as you know, the, the law has always been my first love. And so I wanted to get back into the practice of law again. Uh, and But I didn't want to do it full time because I didn't want a full time job doing anything anymore. Uh, so I practice law part-time now with Squire, Sanders, and Dempsey. Uh, they're a worldwide law firm, and uh, I have an office in Washington and an office here in Cleveland. And I commute between the two cities, and uh, I am uh, holding the position of senior counsel at Squire, Sanders, and Dempsey. Um, in addition to that, I'm... Uh, on the faculty doing some teaching at Case Western Reserve University uh, at the Mandel School of Applied Social Sciences. And uh, I also do that on a relatively part-time basis. Uh, in addition to it, I'm a political uh, analyst for Channel 5 uh, TV in Cleveland. And I sit on some boards and uh, I participate in a lot of community activities and uh, I'm just doing a lot of things uh, where I can utilize the experience of having been in the United States Congress for 30 years and still trying to give this community the benefit of that experience. Wow, that is a lot. And as if anyone would leave you alone anyway, I'm sure people are always knocking on your door, ringing your phone, emailing you, asking you well, to do I figure I have nothing things. else to do now since I'm retired. <laughs>